What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. It's been one month since Joe Gotti brother Big Juke was shot and killed and the moment the news hit the internet, everybody celebrated, everybody got in victory formation, everybody shared the same sentiment that it was well deserved because it was get back for young Dolph. And as I look at his murder, something just hit me. We didn't really talk the same like we usually do after a rapper die. Usually when a rapper or somebody in the music industry passes away, we talk about community structure. We talk about how we need to stop killing each other, how we need to do better as black men. When Big Juke got his ass killed, we didn't do none of that. Even me. Usually I get on here, I talk about how we need to do better, how we need to avoid that. Now when Big Juke passed away, I'm not saying I slept like a baby, but hell, I was sound asleep. I'm just being real with you guys. And it makes me wonder why. Why did we treat the death of Big Juke that way? Why did we lack sympathy? Why did we lack empathy? Because no matter what we think about Big Chuck, a mother lost a son, Yo Gotti lost a brother, and children lost a father. So we should have handled his death a lot more better than that. We should have been responsible, and we should have made videos the right way. And I got to thinking, I know why people lack empathy. Because we still have a feeling that he had something to do with Young Dr. Maz. Hernandez Govin is pitted as the mastermind, but deep down in our hearts, most people feel like Big Juke played a role in it. They feel like he either put up the money, he either got the crew together. Big Juke was not hands clean and murdering Young Dolph. That's what many people feel. So when he passed away, people just like, oh well, he got what he deserved. Long lived Dolph. I still remember like it was yesterday. Big Juke passed away every post. Ain't nobody talking about how horrific the crime was. Ain't nobody talking about how could this happen. Everybody say Long Live Dolph. That's what he get. So now when we find out that it's a rapper named B.E.O. Lil Kenny dissing Big Juke in a song, dissing Yo Gotti, making fun of the murder of Big Juke, giving details on how he was killed. I mean, he said some of the most horrific things in his song and many people thought it was funny. Many people was happy to talk about it. Many people just said, man, he clowning Big Juke. Take a listen to this. So I'm going to play you guys the song and we're going to break this whole situation down. Was he dissing Big Juke and was he self snitching in this song? Let's take a listen and we'll decide for ourselves. Let's go. I pull a kick door with some Gucci on. You got a rich nigga all in your home. I pay the stack for my new cologne. Diamonds, they dancing like Puffy Cone. I've been to the fed, so I don't talk on phone. Free King Dada, he coming home. Just bought a new match, I ain't never home. If you want this smoke, just make it known. We come to get you like Bounty Hunter. In front of his mama, they down this brother. Five, five, six, hitting this nigga. I know a wagon, miss your fat ass stuff. He been spinning. Wait, did you guys hear that? He said, Bounty Hunters, we coming to get you. We downed him in front of his mother. What was everybody saying the day after Big Jug got his ass killed? Many people were saying it happened in front of the mom. Many people said the mom was sitting in the truck with him. Soon as the gunman approached, she opened the door and took off running, right? So that is the self-snitching. Now, we don't know if that detail is true or not, but apparently Lil Kenny believes it's true because he went on a song and he started rapping about it. Then he's talking about five, sixes, hit them all in the stomach. He's talking about the caliber of weapon. Lil Kenny, the fans are handing out Ricos based on lyrics. So you tread in very careful. You better toe that line the right way. Because you can look at this situation. You can look at this song. Yeah, you think you're being clever. You think it's just a song. You think you're speaking in code. But many people are putting two and two together and say you dissing Big Juke. Many people say you are giving information that is not known to the public. Now, let me be honest about this situation. It could indeed be Lil Kenny took out Big Jump, and he's rapping about it in the song. He's rapping about what he potentially did to Yo Gotti brother. Those are facts. That is very possible. They haven't found the killer yet, so everybody in Memphis is a suspect, including Lil Kenny. So he's hopping on this song, rapping his ass off. It's a good song. He's dope. But as far as I'm looking at it, ain't no killer been called. It's still an open case. So you are indeed a suspect, right? Or the other option, it could be that Lil Kenny is just a blog watching motherfucker. He might just be repeating everything he's heard in blogs. So let's be honest, man. No news report, no credible source said that Yo Gotti mother was on the scene. Only bloggers said that. So it's very possible that Lil Kenny could be watching bloggers and repeating everything he heard. Because you got to think about it. He's trying to promote this song. 
he's trying to get hurt. So he might be thinking like, let me sneak this Joe Gotti brother. Let me sneak this big jook. Everybody's against him right now. Everybody's celebrating his death. This is my chance to get in the good graces of the people. I'm the people's champ. I'm the voice of the streets. Let me tell Big Juke a piece of my mind. Let me go at Yo Gotti. Let me get some new listeners. Let me get some new fans. Cause I've been seeing a whole bunch of long lived dog. That's very possible Lil Kenny could be going at it from that way. But just because the song is so dope, I'm going to continue playing it for you guys. Let's go. So much he can start to vomit. The dress in the gown, his head in a bun. He putting it on just to get up on it. I tell him once if for sure that he on it. No sleep. No sleep. Give him a 50 pack of Adderall. I give him 50 grand in the hit list. Everything getting scratched off. And I run around with no more mob niggas. Everybody got an A ball. And it's understood that we crushing shit. Everybody getting black ball. Alright, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. I'm trying to stay away from the drill rap. I'm trying to stay away from violent rap, but that is a good song. He's a very good rapper. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this song. I've been seeing a lot of people up this song. Oh, yeah, he dissing Big Jug. That's what he get. Hell, yeah, he stepping on Big Jug. Lil Kenny is representing the streets. I'm just saying not so fast. I'm just saying we shouldn't be celebrating this type of stuff because we know Memphis is a war zone right now. They are saying that PRE is allegedly sliding for Young Dolph. Now, I don't know Lil Kenny's situation with Young Dolph. I don't know his relationship with Young Dolph. But it's very clear that he's going at Yo Gotti and Big Jump. I don't believe in coincidence. Oh, he could be talking about somebody. He could be talking about another person. Hell no. Big Jump was a high profile murder. We heard the details, whether it was true or not. We heard that he got clapped up all in the stomach. We all seen the picture with him laying his head up looking at the sky. We all seen it. We all heard about his mama being on the scene, and this dude just repeated all that. So I think he was definitely talking about Big Jook. Can't prove it, but it does seem that way. And another thing I want to touch on is Big Jook's legacy. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Big Jook's legacy is tarnished forever. Because no matter what you say, no matter how you feel, many people think he had a role in Young Dolph murder, and it seems like a lot of people love Young Dolph, and they're not willing to let that go. So every time Big Juke name is brought up for his contributions to music, him being Yo Gotti's brother, it always seems like people's gonna bring up Young Dolph, and I blame Big Juke for that. I blame the way he acted when Young Dolph passed away. I blame him for not speaking on Young Dolph murder, and I blame him for being associated with the wrong people. Cause it's no coincidence that if everybody has been arrested for the murder of Young Dolph. Big Jug has ties with him. He in photos with him. He's gambling with him. He taking pictures with him. He had birthday parties. So that ain't no coincidence, man. Not for one second do I think Hernandez Govin acted alone. Not one for one second do I think Hernandez Govin wanted Young Dolph dead just because. And it's no coincidence that after Big Jug murder, that's when Hernandez Govin finally decides to speak. He doing interviews now. He's showing his faith. So I think he's starting to work with them people. I think he's going to try to pin it on your Big Jook. And I think Big Jook role in Young Dog Murder is going to be wide open. That's how I feel about it. But anyway, let's look at these pictures of Big Jook with Young Dog Killers. Let's go. Boom! That's Big Jook with Hernandez Govin. That is the person the feds say masterminded Young Dog Murder. He paid out the money to Stray Drop. He paid out the money to Cornelia Smith. But many people is asking, where did he get the money from? And many people are replying, Hernandez Govin always had money. He was a big time weight mover in Memphis. But that you still gotta tell me, okay, what's his motive then? What is the motive for Hernandez Govin wanting Young Dolph dead? That's what I wanna know. Can't nobody give me a clear cut motive. Can't nobody pinpoint beef, but I can pinpoint beef between Big Jook and Young Dolph. Did songs, interviews, public spats. They already made an attempt on Young Dolph's life before. Let's not forget. Young Dolph had been shot at by these guys multiple times, allegedly. But you can look it up if you don't believe me. Let's take out a little, let's take another look at a photo of Big Jug and one of Young Dolph's alleged killer CEO Teasy. Boom! That is Big Jook and CEO Teasy, who was also killed earlier this year and also is suspected of having a role in the murder of Young Dolph. Those two are together. Now, let's be honest. We don't know why Big Jook was killed. It could be get back for Young Dolph or it could just be some street stuff. But it seems like Yo Gotti have a lot of enemies in Memphis. It seems like if you have ties to Yo Gotti, if you're a Memphis artist wanting to be signed to Yo Gotti, stay the hell out of Memphis.